For this video, we're going to look at doing a fraction of light lab. And this is part of the lab sheet that we're going to be filling out. Uh, and the link goes to PHET, which is a fantastic interactive. So when we look at our chart that we're going to be filling out, uh, we have a table and we're going to be completing it for an air to water interface and our initial or incident angles are going up by 10. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, all the way up. And then the refracted angles will be in here. So we go into the interactive and we can see that we're in air to water. I'm going to put my protractor into place and I'm now going to move my laser so that it has an angle of incidence of zero degrees and we can see that the refracted angle is also zero degrees. So let's go to 10. So this is our 10 degrees right here and the refracted angle there's five so it's a little bit difficult to see but it's probably somewhere around six or seven degrees and when we go to 20 we can see that we're somewhere around 14. So now we'll go back and fill that into our chart. So this was zero, this was seven, and this was 14. And then you simply carry on until you get to the bottom of that first chart. And then for chart number two, we're going to be using an air to glass interface. Go back to the interactive. And what I can do is go down here and switch this over to glass and start over again. So angle of incidence of zero, once again, goes straight through. So when we're at 10 degrees, this almost looks like it's right on the five, maybe just onto the six. Let's go into an incident angle of 20. And this looks like it's somewhere around 12. Let's go to our chart. So that was zero. This is somewhere just maybe over five. So let's put six. And that looked like it was somewhere around 12 degrees. Okay, now we go back to our chart and we'll see for number three, we're actually going to be going from water to air. So we'll go back to the interactive. I'll set this back to zero. So in this case, I want this to be water. And this is going to be air. When I am at zero degrees, angle of incidence, it's a refracted angle of zero. Now when I go to 10, we can see that it looks like it's slightly over 10. When we go to 20, there's a 20 marker, so it's almost 25. When we go to 30, you can see that it's pretty much at 40. So you put those numbers into your chart. Now you'll notice there's always this phantom line which is showing a little bit of an angle of reflection. And the angle of incidence equals angle of reflection. The majority of the light is actually coming out into the air with a partial amount that's being reflected back into the water. But something interesting happens as we keep increasing our angle of incidence. And it will happen right around 50 degrees. So just below 50 degrees, you'll notice that most of the light seems like it's reflecting. A partial amount is coming out or refracting. When you go a little bit past 50, you'll notice no more light is being refracted. You have just hit something called the critical angle. No more light is allowed to leave the water. It actually stays inside the water. So when you've hit this point, You've gone past the critical angle. None of the light is able to exit into the air anymore. It bounces back into the water. And as you keep increasing the angle of incidence, you'll notice that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. This is the idea of total internal reflection. Now, when we go to our chart and fill it out, you have to be careful. When you're at the 60, 70, and 80, you're no longer refracting you're actually reflecting. So please make sure you make a note of that in your chart.